Uh, hello everyone welcome to tech balance in this video i'm going to show you how to install visual studio code in your ubuntu machine and set up python in visual studio code and also how to use virtual environments in your visual studio code so the first So the first thing I'm going to do is install VS Code. So just type, um, just look for Visual Studio Code. So uh, open this first first link. And head over to downloads. Uh, download this this uh, this package, this Debian package here. So click on it. So once once your download is complete, once your download is complete, just go and and install that package. So I'm going to head over to my downloads. you can see the this I've downloaded this, this Debian package so I'm just going to to unpack it to install it in my machine let me copy this Now that we have successfully installed VS Code, let's just search for VS Code. So we can see Visual, Visual Studio Code is installed in our machine. Uh, as you can see, there are shortcuts that are here that you can always use when you're using your VS Code. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do for Python, I'm going to install the python extension so just come here to this this icon here that's named extension and search for the python extension and as you can see it has already popped up the first uh, the first pop up here is called python it's from microsoft so just select you see it's a very uh, judging by the number of downloads this is a very widely used extension so uh, the first thing i'm going to do is click on install so make sure you install this extension to use python to be able to run python programs in vs code now now that we have installed um the python extension the next thing i'm going to do is select a uh, python interpreter to interpret our python programs so I'm just going to open up the command palette, go to view, command palette, then type python. Python select, yeah, so python select interpreter, click on that option. So you'd see a list of interpreters pop up so uh, make sure you have python installed in your ubuntu uh, so I'm, I'm going to use python python 3 so i'm going to select python 3 as my my interpreter
So after I do that, um, in Python it's advisable to use virtual environments to install things in your project, especially when you, let's say for example you're using Django, so to install that, uh, to avoid installing it globally, you install it in your virtual environment, makes it easier for each and every project that you're working on to install your your dependencies in a virtual environment so um, i'm going to use a uh, virtual env for uh, for creating my virtual environment so i'll need to have that installed in ubuntu so i'm just going to install it globally uh, head over to my terminal control l so I'm going to install virtual VNV. So the command to do that is sudo pip3 install virtual env Now that you've successfully um, installed your virtual environment, let's head over, create a new project and see how we can use virtual environments in VS Code. So I'm just going to head over. I'm going to open folder. So the folder I created was called sample. I'm going to open up that project um, then open up my a new terminal window so I'm just going to create a new virtual environment in this in this project in this folder before I start my project so the command to do that is virtual virtual env followed by the name of your of your virtual environment i'm going to call mine env yeah so as you can see virtual env has created a new a new virtual environment has been created Uh, so we've created a new virtual environment. So the next thing I'm going to do is activate this virtual environment and the command to do that is source Source then the name of your virtual environment which is env In my case, so put the name of th that you gave your virtual environment means slash activate yeah, So uh, you can see there's a pop-up here named env this means our virtual environment is activated so um let's use our virtual environment to install something let's say uh, it's a django project so i'm going to use it to install django so p3 so in this case i have uh I'm going to install Django in my virtual environment and that meaning it won't be installed globally. Uh, so that's how you So that's how you use um, virtual environments in Python in, in VS Code. Also, there's also a, you can also use the VM module, which can be installed by um, instead of using virtual VNV, you can use this module. So 
sudo apt get install python 3 slash pnv so that's another way you can use to create virtual environments in python uh, so after that is complete um, to deactivate your virtual environment you simply type deactivate and yes our virtual environment will be deactivated so that's it for today for using um, for creating virtual environments and using them in our VS code thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe